feel like I'm not at the center. This is fine. I should position myself. What did I do? It was fine earlier. Maybe I should sit like this. <laughs> How am I supposed to sit? Hopefully it looks better. Anyway, stop texting me. Stop calling me. I am trying to record. Okay? Alright. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Charity. No wonder I'm so tired, guys. I've been on the road since morning. I'm in my temporary location right now. I recently asked my people on Instagram to ask me questions so they can get to know me. And I have some of the questions here on my phone and I'll try to answer as many as I can just so that people can understand me better and yeah so without me wa wasting any m much time let me just look for the questions here some of the questions are ridiculous and I just didn't have the energy to answer those but I tried to choose questions that Are worth being answered <laughs> no I'm just joking all right so excuse me uh, the first question is what is your relationship status what do you do for a living and what's your biggest regret in life that's three questions from one person so my relationship status is I am single I'm single, single, single. I am single. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not dating. I'm just single. Uh, what do I do for a living? When I read this question initially, I wanted to answer, but um, I have just chosen not to answer this one because I feel like I share too much. If you know me, you know on my Instagram, I share a lot about my life. And I'm just trying to keep some things to myself. Like, I have a job, I'm employed. That's all you should know. Um, it's a, what they regard as a nine to five. That's what I, I, I have a job at work. I can't really be specific about what it is that I do, but it's a de decent job, okay? And then the other one says, what's your biggest regret in life? nothing nothing at all i don't regret anything that i've ever said to anyone i don't regret anything that i've ever done to to anyone or to myself i just feel like you can't live your life based on regret you can't live your life saying i wish i did this different i wish i did that different i wish i had this i wish i had that you just learn learn from your mistakes and make sure that you don't repeat the same thing that you did that you didn't like and just you know move on with your life i found that if you accept things for the way they are and accept the fact that you cannot change anything that you have done then your life becomes just easier because you learn from your mistakes learn from the things that you don't want try to avoid those things and just move on with your life so i don't regret anything if i could do it all over again i would whatever it is that happened i would because i feel like at that time whatever it is that i did i did for a reason that made sense to me at that time would i do the same things probably not the the things that i look at myself now and i'm like why did i do that why did i do that why didn't i do this instead of that but regret no i don't regret anything because it's life you live and you learn sometimes you learn from people's mistakes sometimes you learn from your own mistakes don't walk around beating yourself up for things that you cannot change okay uh, the other one is what level of education is your highest i have a btech degree in tourism management i studied tourism management at tony university of technology tut in nelspreet which is now Mbombela. i did my first year in 2011 
second year in 2012, third year in 2013, and then I did my final year, which is my BTEC, excuse me, in 2014. I graduated with a national diploma in 2013, but the, the ceremony was in 2014, the following year, and then I graduated with my BTEC degree in 2015, after studying in 2014. Um, by the grace of God, I never repeated a subject. I never failed. I never repeated a year throughout my whole university. So I did it in what is called record time, which is four years. And I'm so glad that I was able to achieve that. That is one of the things that I pride myself with. Even though I don't do anything that is tourism related right now, career wise, but I, I just... I'm happy that I was able to complete that and, you know, wear the gown twice. So, yeah, I'm proud of myself for that. Uh, not a question, but a compliment. Umu, I like you. Thank you so much. This person right here always uh, comments on my pictures. He always um, comments on my stories. He always views my stories. He always is just like he always hypes me up like that's the reason why i get so excited communicating with people on instagram because there's just people who are just genuinely happy when you post genuinely happy to see you and this guy right here is one of them so thank you so much for that what where do you see yourself at the end of the year career wise why are you guys being so serious Okay, career-wise, I just would like, honestly, if you, if, you, if you watch my stories, you will see that most of the time, I always promote my YouTube on my Instagram stories because that's the one thing that I wish I could grow as often as possible or as bigger as possible because I feel like there's a lot that I need to do and there's a lot that I would like to do on YouTube um, and eventually make a career out of it. You know, the whole content creating, um, YouTuber sort of thing. I would really love to pursue that in the near future. Um, that is why I try as much as I can now to at least upload one video on youtube just to keep it active so to answer your question career wise i would love to grow my youtube and do something big and great with with it sometimes i have ideas of things that i want to do on youtube or things that i want to upload on youtube but i just get discouraged by the rate at, at which my my um YouTube is growing, but I believe that one day at a time, you know, one day at a time, one day I'll wake up with the number of subscribers that I wish to have and grow from that and do great things because this is something that I really love to do. If you notice my 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 um, YouTube stories, I'm always posting a, a clip here and there. I'm always saying something. I'm always sharing something with people and I just feel like it would it would be even greater for me to share stuff on this camera is not even straight this camera is not straight but anyway yeah so i would like to grow my youtube and make something out of it possibly a career out of it and where's the other question what is the wildest thing you have ever done? The wildest thing I've ever done is I ran away from school. When I was in matric in 2009, I was at Sefaps Academy. And if you know Sefaps Academy, you know that that school is not for the faint-hearted, if I may put it that way. It is just not an environment for people like myself. It's just not. You need to be strong to survive in that school. And I just, I was there for like two and a half months or three months and I ran away. 
I'll do a story time about it one day, someday. But yeah, I ran away and I went to Metropolitan and that's where I did my my matric on the same year in 2009. I was in matric at Metro Metropolitan um, and that's where I matriculated. <laughs> what am I saying? I was in matric and matriculated. Yes, you matriculated, you were in matric. So yeah, to answer your question, I ran away. This camera is annoying me. I ran away, so yeah. That's just it. I ran away from school because I, I just couldn't deal with the environment. It, it was just not for me. Self Ops Academy 2009. I was there for like three uh, three months or two and a half. And when we closed school for Easter's, I just decided um, I'm leaving and I'm not coming back. And I didn't leave, but just leaving like you're walking through the gate and you're, you're saying goodbye to your friends. See you later. No. I ran away in the morning at half past four before the bell rang for us to wake up. So if you want me to do a story time about that, I'll do it. But yeah, it, it wasn't nice. Um, my mother was not happy at all. But I knew I wouldn't survive in that environment. I just knew I wouldn't survive. And it was... Just thinking about it and talking about it just makes me so emotional because it's just one of those things that I've, I've been through stuff in my life, but that's just one of the worst things that I've ever been through. Just the environment, the whole the whole everything that happened there was just yeah so yeah the next question is do you know how to twerk no i don't and i will never be even <clears throat> i'll never even be in a position to know how to twerk because i don't think it's something that i'm interested in like twerking for what for who and why it's just not it's, it's not for me so no i don't I, i've never even practiced twerking <laughs> because i just feel like and then what you're going to know how to twerk and then what you know it's just not one of the things that i'm interested in where do you stay in swaziland i currently live in babani because that's where i am employed in Babane, Swaziland. Not a question, but a compliment. Umu, let's we are Tandega. Thank you so much. I find myself to be a very <laughs> entertaining person for some reason. This camera is moving. This, this camera is moving and it's annoying me. I find myself to be a very entertaining person. If you follow me on Instagram, please watch my stories. You'll have fun over there. So yeah, this waist is going to annoy me. Anyway, um, next question. Wait, I had questions. Where's the other question? I remember having this. How old are you? I'm 33 years old. I was born on the 20th of February, 1989. I just celebrated my birthday in February where I went to Durban. There's a reel that I posted about that. The people who keep asking me how old are you, uh, where do you live, those things are on my Instagram. I and then there's another question that I forgot to, to, to add on the list. But anyway, um... You seem like a very nice person. I like your vibe. Thank you very much. I believe that I'm a very nice person. It's getting late. I need to finish recording. I didn't turn the, the heater on because I didn't want any noise. Um, so let me get these other questions. 
uh, do you normally visit Big Bend or Matata or pass by? I think this person saw one post when I was in either my stories or a post when I was in Simonia. I was only there for two days, one night. I was only there on a Saturday and then I left on Sunday. There was an event there. So that's why I was in Simonia. Otherwise, that was the first time ever going to Simonia. And I didn't even know Duncan and uh, Zagwe would be there, but they were there and I had fun. I had fun. It was very nice. Even though there were a lot of teenagers there, but it was it was really nice. Can I meet you in person? You may, you may not. <laughs> you may, you may not. If you see me, say hi. Most of these questions that I get are usually from the people in South Africa because a lot of my followers, like 67%, 68% of my followers are in South Africa. So they always assume that I'm in South Africa. I'm not in South Africa. So if you wish to see me, uh, you can come to Swaziland and see me. Otherwise, I don't see any possibility of us seeing each other unless we communicate and become friends and then arrange to meet. Otherwise, I don't see it happening. But if it does happen, say hi. <laughs> But I would love to meet, you know, I would love to meet some of the people that um, I communicate with on Instagram. I feel like that would be really nice, you know, to see some of them. Because most of the people that I see on Instagram seem like, especially the people that talk to me very often, they seem like really nice people. So, And I've created even friendships on Instagram. Um, the people that have known me for a year two years a few months or even since i started my instagram i don't even know when i started my instagram but it must have been in 2018 i think yeah but i've just created um very nice friendships with very nice people and i just feel like meeting some of those people would really would be nice next question says <laughs> How I wish things were different. Ave umush, a charity. Different in what way though? Like different in what way? Thanks for the compliment anyway. I don't understand what, what you mean by um, you wish things were different. Different how? What is your ideal romantic getaway? Somewhere where there's going to be the sound of the ocean and when I open my curtain, I see palm trees because I just loved, be I, I just love being close to the beach. I don't know why. I think that's why I love Durban so much. <clears throat> Not just for that reason. Okay, my grandfather was, uh, uh, my grandfather is South African. He lived in Gomash, so I just have an attachment with Durban but I just would like okay there's two things if it's local nice restaurants I just like nice environments like hotel restaurants are also nice just I think that's romantic to me like being at a restaurant somewhere that's not local or if it's outside the country definitely has to be a beach um, I want to see palm trees, I want to take a walk, I want to just eat my favorite food and just be surrounded by different faces and just a different environment, that would be nice. Um, where do you live? I think I've answered that one. Can we go on a date? I think I've answered that one. May we talk on WhatsApp? Uh, <laughs> come on, guys. Like, some of these questions, that's why I said on my stories, you guys keep repeating the same thing because everyone uh, that wants my number wants to talk on WhatsApp. And I'm like, I don't even like texting. I don't even like, like, there's chats even right now on my phone that haven't been answered because I just, 
Like, I feel like if it's, if it's important, call me. Let's discuss it and get it over with. If you're going to start a conversation by hi and wait for me to respond, how are you? Wait for me to respond. How was your day? I get bored. I just get bored because I'm like, get to the point. Like, hi, how are you? You seem like a very nice person. Can I meet you? Or something like that. I don't know. Like, can I get to know you? Something like Just put everything in one sentence. Don't text me hi. Wait for a response. How are you? Wait for a response. By the time I, I respond, it will be three months later. Because I, I just... I don't like texting. And that's it. So even if I give you my number, I will still not respond to your text. But if you call me, I will answer. Because a phone call is a phone call. If my phone can ring now, I can answer it. But if I see a text that, say, that says hi, I'm not going to respond. Because, like, you're not saying anything. There's nothing urgent there. So, there's nothing to respond to. So, having my number is pointless. <laughs> and not in a bad way. Honestly, not in a bad way. I just feel like I've given explanations of the reason why I don't like giving people my number because I just feel like if you're going to text me hi every day, I'll get bored. Um, last two questions. You're very sexy. Thank you very much. Somebody somebody commented and said, uh, why do I like being naked? Because I love my body. That's why I love being naked, because I love my body. I could be half naked right now and you wouldn't even know it. I just don't understand why people have to come with these... Um, anyway, not even going to tolerate that. Mm, the last question says... Um, uh, I'm trying to skip question here because um okay the last question out of these ones uh says i see you're in durban can we do lunch um i'm not in durban i was in durban in february i never posted any location that says durban after my birthday or after my birthday week I never posted a location that says Durban. If I post a location, it's because I'm there at that time. And if I don't put a location, it's probably because I'm at home, like Swaziland. Everybody knows that I'm in Swaziland, so there's no need for me to put the location that says Swaziland all the time. But I do sometimes. So to answer your question, no, I'm not in Durban. At the time of you sending this text, I was not in Durban. I was in Durban at that time for my birthday. I'm not in Durban now. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I hope I answered most of your questions. And I hope I gave you the information that you were looking for. Thank you so much for, ans for, for, for sending your questions. Even though most of the questions, like I said, were repeated questions. But I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that it gives you more clarity about myself and who I am and you get to understand me better. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for um, subscribing to my channel for those who have. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please um, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and you can also leave a comment um, if there's anything else that you need clarity on. Or if there's anything else that you want to know, I will try to respond. Because sometimes my phone gives me problems and I don't see my notifications. I don't know why. But go follow me on Instagram at Charity Caramel. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'm getting cold. <laughs> Bye, guys.